Hello everyone, my name is Aina Mehta and welcome to What's In My Wardrobe, a show wherein we give you a closet tour of your favorite celebrities. For today's episode, we have someone who's an amalgamation of an entrepreneur, an artist, a model, a fashion designer, and recently, a mother as well. She's none other than the gorgeous Gabriela Demetriadis. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Very good. And uh, welcome to Pinkwilla, Gabriela. Thank you. Thank and you. the closet is lovely. Thanks. As usual, it's huge. I am very curious already <laughs> to know what's in store. Um, so, Gabriela, tell me, as I said in my introduction, you're playing multiple roles at the moment, and it's just been two years since you have Arik. Yeah. Uh, how has that been going on with your brand? Uh, with you know your hobbies, your work, how are you managing all of it? I guess uh, like the, the first priority right now is obviously Arik, um, so everything else sort of goes on the, the back burner. Um, and then there was a lockdown and all of that, so actually, I, you know, during the lockdown I got to spend a lot of time with him at home because before that it was a lot more hectic with shows and you know, shoots and everything. And uh, now I've sort of got into the flow of being able to balance both, I'm not sure how, but. Um, it's happening. So with your fashion label and your interest for uh, you know designing and stuff, how did you discover that I need to channel my creativity when it comes to fashion? Like why not any other subject? Why fashion? So I think fashion was something that I was always interested in. Um, you know, I grew up around it. Uh, my parents are actually in the haberdashery business. My mom studied fashion design. She was a designer. She had a very small uh, label while I was growing up in a knitwear label. And my love for fashion really started then. And I think that's actually why I got into modeling. So it wasn't the other way around. And I always knew that I was going to be doing something in fashion, whether it was a brand or styling, or and I tried all of those things before I launched Demi. So now for the main part, um, let's check what's yeah, in your closet. Okay. Let's what go would ahead. you like to see first? Any? Uh... Let's start from here. Okay, we'll start from here. So yeah. just please, first of all, excuse the mess. I've just packed <laughs> my bags for London. Um, so. so I... Um, Strangely enough, for somebody that lives in Bombay, I have an obsession with winter clothes. So I would say like 70% of my closet, like there's a whole area in there that's actually just my jackets and jerseys and I really love winter clothes. Um, so I have a lot of uh, vintage stuff in here as well because as you know, I'm obsessed with uh, yeah. anything thrifted or vintage. So I have some jackets like from the 60s, from the 80s. Then um, I'm also a big, big leather fan. So I have like leather jackets in all different styles. This is a, a Coupal's leather jacket that I think I picked up in Paris a while ago. It's like a men's jacket. So I like to oversize things, layer. Um, and then I also got this really cute jacket, which is, I think, oh yeah, this is, this is thrifted. So this is like an old biker jacket with the sleeves cut off. So you're also into thrifting, like do Yeah, yeah, majorly. A lot of people don't like secondhand shopping, they don't yeah. like thrifting, but I felt like I would rather do that than, you know, shop these mass brands that do a lot of damage to the environment and, you know, a lot of other things. So Definitely. That was my, my little help back towards the fashion. <laughs> There's no really, like, order as to the closet. I mean, there is kind of. So these are party dresses, which this have been... This seems like super glam. Yeah, so this is but this has been resting now for a long time because Mama's been <laughs> not attending any parties. Um, but I just got this super cute top. I don't know when I'm wearing it or when I think I'm wearing it, but it is uh, from this brand called uh, The Poster Girl. And I really love it. I just think it's super fun and cute. I'm obsessed with this color right now. I think everybody is obsessed green with this green. Green is the new yeah. black. <laughs> okay, I can't even show you how it works. It's so complicated, but it's like basically like one of these. And I'm going to wear it with these purple pants. I don't know when I'm doing Tell this. Tell me but something. This is very unlikely your style. Your I know. So, style. so I'll Do tell you, you this whole section, like even like something like this, which is Eero, and I really love it. But I've never worn it. I've just I buy these shiny, pretty things, yeah. and then I normally just let them sit in my closet like this. So I love like really good knits and tracksuits and vests and t-shirts. And um, I think that like Arj and I both share a passion for that. So whenever we're abroad, like we are obsessed with like buying the best t-shirts that we can find. More than all of this right now. I don't know when the last time was that I bought something, you know, super dressy or fancy. So, oh, this I love. So, okay, one second. 
It's a really cool animal print. Yeah, it's uh, vegan leather, which I love. So it's not, um, yeah. it's not leather. And it's this brand from Los Angeles, Meow. And they do these really cool, uh, you know, corsets. And then she's done these coats as well. I just love a statement coat because if you want to just wear something super casual, plain, like a little black dress, boots, and then put one of these over, it's an outfit so quickly. So, uh, Gabriela, tell me something. Are you into the... Instagram homegrown labels because that's happening so much. Like yeah. We have so many brands, uh, local Indian designers. Have you tapped into that market, bought something? I love to support local labels, especially in India. So actually during lockdown, I did a whole uh, segment of supporting local where I posted about local brands and if they wanted to send products, they could, but it was just more about getting the visibility for them out there. And uh, actually these very, very cool pants that a local brand sent me from Delhi We'll find the name for you so you can add them afterwards. But I really love the the print and I think they're very fun. You know, they're Indian, but they're also, you can dress them up in like a sort of non-traditional uh, kind of way, which I love. It's very quirky. Yeah, exactly. Just with a cool white top or, you know, denim jacket. I think it's a great statement piece. Like I said, I love those one-off statement pieces that just elevate an outfit. I'm really loving this printed uh, jeans trend right now. So I've picked up a couple like statement printed jeans. I love these, which I think are super, super cool. Yeah. It seems like you're into prints a lot lately. I am. <laughs> I, actually, I've always been into prints, but I, it's not like I wear them in my everyday life or I love like, you know, the glitz and the glam and the feathers and the sequins, but I, you don't get to wear that all the time. So what you see me in normally is like this, because <laughs> um, that's my comfort zone. But I, I definitely do like to play around with prints and textures and, you know, uh, different kinds of fabrics, especially shiny ones. And of course, so never this, had enough of bags. Yeah, and this is a serious so. mess right now. And I think 90% of my bags are packed in those bags for my trip. But I will show you some of my older favorites because they haven't been packed. Or actually some of the newer ones are here too. Um, like we were discussing green. So this is a, I, I don't know what it's called, something about a tube or something. It's the one of the new Bottegas. But I was just obsessed with this color and everybody was doing that mini Jody. So I thought I would try something different. And uh, I think it's really fun and it's definitely a statement. So it, I, I feel like this color also goes with kind of whatever you're wearing. Like let's try yeah. it on your outfit right now. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure. I think it's a lovely color as I said. Yeah. And I mean, def Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And it's cool because you can wear it in multiple ways as well. So you can uh, put this in and you can wear it like that with the string, which I quite like. Um, shoulder bags again, there's another shoulder bag. So this is one of my all time favorites. So this I love, we'll just keep, we'll use you as the bag model today. <laughs> yeah. And because it's just I so, it. it's so like light and easy Definitely. and you can wear it with everything. And uh, you know, for me, the, the best thing about my job is, one of the things is the, the second hand clothing brand that I have, uh, VRTT. Okay, so uh, this is my favorite part of the closet, I think. And uh, this is the shoe space. This is definitely <laughs> my favorite part of the closet. Love so it. there's a whole bunch of heels that don't get worn um, because I actually am definitely more of a, a flat sneaker person. But I love heels and I love boots. I have an obsession with boots. As you can see, that side is basically just boots. So if I see an outfit, even if it's a great outfit, if the shoes don't match, then I feel like it really ruins it. Um, so I used to wear a lot of heels post Arik. So these are one of my favorite pairs, Attico. Um, they're actually launching in India soon. And uh, I just think they're really fun. They do really fun heels, like really crazy colors and textures. And you know, they'll go great with even what you're wearing right now. And I just love the color. These Whoa. are <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are Valentino. I've not worn them because okay. like, where do you wear these is my question. They're more like art. So I've kept them in my cupboard. I. Um, We'll wear them one day, I hope. Maybe if I dress up as like Wonder Woman or Superwoman <laughs> for a Halloween thing. But I just love them. I think they're super yeah. cool. As you said, they are art. Like, how yeah. bad do you wear them? Exactly. Out them? <laughs> I don't. I can't think of an occasion. So they just well. they just stay here. Do you still uh, wear boots in India? Do you get the opportunity to? I make the opportunity because <laughs> you're lucky. <laughing> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is um, you know, like so even now for my trip, I've got you know like 15 pairs of boots in my bag and it takes up half my space. So I've had to leave like all the essentials, like where the boots are going. And I'm 
you know very curious to you know ever since i'm in this closet uh are you one of those who would steal uh, arjun's clothes and properly style them up he steals my clothes actually um no jokes yeah i do so i i'm the person that like i'll be like you should wear this of mine it looks really cool on you and i want to style everybody and you know that's how i end up losing half my closet because my friends never return anything um and but like arj is like he really like loves his stuff and doesn't really like to share so I do have to then steal his clothes which I do. So there's a couple of like jackets of his that I've definitely, you know, moved from his side of the closet into mine now. So I have curated those fan questions and I've put it here so you can just pick and answer. Okay. Like. If I can't read the username, Diksha, that's easy. Yeah. Do you dress according to your body type? Interesting. Um okay. So, I think I used to do this a lot where I was very conscious about my hips and about my bum because they were slightly, you know, bigger than normal model size. And um, you know, during my modeling career, I would get a lot of, you know, like you have to lose weight on your hips, you have to lose weight on your thighs. So, I've spoken about it. So, I be I became a bit obsessive about like disguising my hips and thighs, and then when I stopped modeling, I realized that my hips and thighs are normal and that the modeling industry standards of what hips and thighs should be is totally not. So yes, I used to dress for my body type and I used to try and, you know, like accentuate my waist and not show, you know, like too much leg, but now I just wear whatever I like to wear and I think that if you are confident in your body no matter what shape or size, then anything goes, right? Okay, this is from Radhika 687. Um rate Arjun style evolution. Okay, so we have actually prepared a few of his pictures yeah. that we'll show you, okay. which you can like just rate. So I'll just sure. quickly. Nice question, Simran. <laughs> I mean, Radhika, Arjun's gonna be very, very happy that we're rating him. Okay, so yeah, you can just swipe mm. right. This this suit actually I have stolen and I've worn in a shoot. Oh, so <laughs> I definitely fancy the style. It's great. It's classic. I love a white shirt. I love a pinstripe suit. He's kept it minimal. I like the the hair. It's really nice. Yeah. I mean, this is his standard look, right? This mm -hmm. is his go-to jeans, a t-shirt and and white He's sneakers. He's so basic with his uh, yeah, dressing. which I love. Same. I think that, you know, for um it shouldn't be too complicated for anyone, for men, for women, whoever. I think you should just be easy with what you're wearing. Maybe I would have done a different color t-shirt. <laughs> uh again, I love interesting, nice chapels. Yeah. I don't I don't think these are, these haven't come into play since we've been together, but yeah, I I like yeah, these this are look. Old pictures, like I love a white crew neck on a man. I think that it's one of the sexiest things, just a crew neck in jeans and uh, so this is 10 out of 10 for me. Maybe not the shoes. Current look. Oh. This blue This is not current Instagram. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. Yeah. And actually, you know what? It's crazy how um something so opposite to what your natural hair color is can suit you and it really did suit him you know i like i was even tempted to go try some blonde up myself but yeah i think i love this look you know what the fun fact about this is if um, especially for indian audience if you go blonde with your hair you get usually celebrities get a lot of backlash but yeah. the love that he got i know he this. really did but you know i think also i have to give kudos to i think alam who had done his hair he got the color so right because you mm -hmm. can also go really wrong you can get that like yellowy color or you know like an orange and he got this like really beautiful platinum which i love mm -hmm. and uh, it was fun you know having a blonde in my life for a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's go for a green one and we have isha 176 what is the most expensive thing in your closet i i don't even know that's just uh, okay let me think maybe um a piece of jewelry i think could be the most expensive uh i have sorry dad invested a lot in my handbag collection so i think maybe i my handbags would be the most expensive thing in my closet or boots actually if i tell you about some of the boots <laughs> but it. yeah it's uh, i feel you <laughs> you feel me yeah. um but ha luckily you can thrift and you can resell so you don't feel so bad anymore yeah i think pretty flowers dear we already answered this question for you but my fave pair of shoes Um currently I bought these JW Anderson shoes which uh 
I love, but like a lot of people don't like. They have this like massive gold chain on them, um, and uh, they're flat, which I love at the moment. And they're, they were just a great summer shoe. And because I was in Europe now for summer, I got to wear them so much. So that would be currently my favorite shoe. But I have this pair of um, Isabel Morant black thigh high boots, which I absolutely love, and I've worn so many times. So I think those would be my favorite. So uh, last question we have from Shakti underscore Pesaske that says your most worn. Oof, um, probably my gym clothes. Uh, so yeah. they, uh, they're the things, I, I always look at it like I see my washing and it's just gym clothes coming back. I'm like, don't I wear anything else? But you know, mom life, work life, you're in your gym clothes and you work out and then you're wearing them for the rest of the day or you're wearing some kind of athleisure. So I think that, or um, I have these vintage Levi's that I've had forever and I love them and they have holes everywhere and like the buckles are falling off of them but I, I'm never going to get rid of them until they literally fall off me. So I think those would be my most worn. Thank you for following me in Thank my closet you. and if you guys have liked this video please do like it and subscribe and share and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for that.